the miracle of the legend is to have found people, generation after generation, to organize a race like that. 91 years ago, you had the first Le Mans. A group of people discovering the world of automobile, the world of mobility, the freedom of mobility, had in mind to do a 24 hours with new technologies at the time. But we found people, organizers in La Salle, who were able to transmit their passion to the next generation. That's why you have the history of adventure, dramas, joy, everything is mixed up here. And I think that creates the legend. If you ask a driver, he's ready to sign up to win one time, he will sign with two hands because that's the dream of everyone. So you can imagine what it is to win six times. It's the biggest race of the year. The tradition is amazing. It's the 82nd anniversary of this race. So you can see it was, was built up over the years. Uh, it's, it's very cool that it was when it started. It was just the beginning of the automobile, yeah, adventure. I would call it, you know. And then, and then now, yeah, more than 90 years after that, we still have uh, the same goal, the same spirit to to run as quick as possible over 24 hours and to make the car last and strong. And uh, even though it's completely different technology, but it's still the same idea and the same spirit. And you see that this race has been grown over not over years, over decades. They did a good job of keeping this tradition as well and, and putting it in the modern area, but I think that, that this mixture makes this race so special. What makes it unique, and it's often overplayed the word unique, but it is unique in that it's, the, it's, one, it's 90 years, it's the oldest race probably in the world, it's the greatest endurance race in the world, it's the only race that's really raced on the public highway, and it's always been for sports cars for the manufacturers to show that they're the greatest manufacturer in the world and once you've won it you can eat off it for the next few years. We won Le Mans, you know, and that's why all the manufacturers are here. Quite a mix of emotions. I mean a little bit of nervousness, obviously we're, uh, we're here to do the big, big job today, um, but, but mainly excitement and, and very proud to be wearing the Porsche overalls and, and you know, see all the fans around supporting us there's been so many here it's, it's just been completely overwhelming for me and uh, yeah, just so excited to get the race underway we've been working a long time to get to this day and uh, you can feel this the atmosphere's building and you could really feel what it means to a lot of people that to see a Porsche running here um, yeah since 16 years or there are some people there that that already saw the 917 running or the 962 so now I mean can you imagine it's like over 20 years uh, or more than 20 years and then to see now this 919 hybrid, to see it running here, the Porsche comeback. I mean, I've seen a lot of Porsche enthusiasts really being very emotional for us to see here, that we that we back in the field, back in the game. And this is what really makes you proud as well of a member of this team, to see what we've achieved and also uh, to see the big test ahead of us. You can see here so many people this year in Le Mans. For sure, the weather is very good, so they like to, to come to see the race, but they also like to come to see the Porsche who is back. For me, I think it's unbelievable. I mean, to me, they should never have left um, because I think they lost a lot out. But, it, you know, one, they're going to turn around and say, yeah, well, it's bad econ economical times. And I, I don't care about that because I'm a race driver and I, I, I just know what they did for me. And I just felt everybody should have driven in that major era that I was in. And now we're back. So I'm thrilled because I think sports car racing can only be better for it. I mean, for Porsche to be back is vitally important. And I'm not saying this against Toyota, against Audi, against Honda, or whoever the heck it is. But the fact is that the great names that made history over the last 90 years have been the major players. Ferrari, Bentley, Jaguar, the Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, Mercedes, and Porsche, you know. I think there's some great names that made up that early, those, the history of motor racing at, at, at Le Mans. And we've now got Porsche back, and I think now they're back, 
it's going to bring another crowd of people back that were, hadn't been coming for years. They've been coming to watch the, you know, the cup cars and GT2s and 3s, but now they're coming back with a car that can win races. It's the most unbelievable thing because it's a build-up. We used to get fit from Christmas onwards. After New Year came, you'd work out and you'd get in great shape, full them on. And that fitness would carry you through the year. I remember Jackie X wrote to me one day. He said, we have got the greatest designers, the greatest engineers, the best mechanics, and at the end of the day, the best drivers. But at the end of the day, we need to have the best of luck. And that's what you really need here. Unless you tick all those boxes, it's very difficult to, to win this race. But I mean, to win it is unbelievable. The only thing is that when it's over, you go, what is there now? And there's nothing left. Once you win the race, you walk away and you're like, but what can follow winning at Le Mans? There's nothing in the world that can take its place. First of all, when you are French, <laughs> it's uh, your race, you know? And uh, so this is for me very special, but for me, you know, it's uh, 14 uh, times that I'm driving the race. So it's always, uh, you know, a lot of stress when you are here, it's always different. But uh, yeah, it's always special. You know, each morning when you are coming here to Le Mans, you know, in your way to, for, for you know, on a Saturday morning, you say, okay, now I'm in Le Mans for 24 hours. I have to drive well, I have to perform. And uh, we have, yeah, we cross the finger like hell and to just hope that we can do a very strong result. I mean, if it hadn't been for Porsche, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you now. They gave me everything. You know, I won four Le Mans for Porsche and three Daytona 24 hours for Porsche. So I won seven 24 hour races for them. And it's thanks to their amazing engineering and a lot of luck, you know, but I did a lot of racing too. I mean, when I think back, I, I did 26 Le Mans, 18 to 20 Daytonas and probably 15 to 20 Sebring 12 hours. It's a hell of a lot of miles I did to get my five wins. So I don't think I didn't work for it, you know. Well, the funny thing is they're not really going any quicker. We were doing 246 miles an hour, but a very different circuit, although the Mulsanne on straight was just straight for four miles, you know. But of course, technology's changed, but I think it's remarkable the speeds we did then. So it's changed absolutely dramatically, but it's still a racing car, you know, and it's still the greatest race in the world, and everybody's out there trying to do their bit. But when you win Le Mans, you've won it for life. Honestly, we have all to admit right now that it's an outstanding performance. Le Mans is very difficult, and you have to keep in mind permanently that it's a new project. All the people who belong to the Porsche team create a car, create a new engine, follow the new technologies, and that's the main aspect about Porsche in motor racing. There must be a goal for technologies. This regulation this time is the most perfect one for Porsche. But everyone in the team were new. All the mechanics, most of the engineers, they have not been in motor racing because Porsche was not in for the last 16 years. Audi, 12 years at Le Mans. The Toyota, a number of years at Le Mans. Here, we come for the first time. We are competitive and I think it's really outstanding.